I hope this works. One of the ways. Well, because why wouldn't be one of them work? I mean, I already melted this. It'll be entertaining. Oh, we're live and early. Hope you don't mind. So, what's this balloon jargon? So, I have seen people make balloons with chocolate and no. They make bowls with chocolate and balloons, and I want to know why I can't make one with resin and balloons. So we'll see. I hear that music. Sup, y'all. Um, I hope you have all had an amazing day. Where am I? Up here? Cool. What's up? I hope you guys have had an amazing day. I am feeling better. I don't know what it was, but I felt like I got pushed out of a tree. I felt completely horrible, and Jeff took care of me. I slept it off. I literally slept all day except for enough to, like, wake up and eat twice. That was my yesterday. And, um, yeah, I'm better. So, today, I want to see if I can make a bowl out of balloons and quick coat. And I've seen people do it with chocolate or Mod Podge. But I don't have any of those things. I have resin. So, I'm going to see if I can make it work with resin. First thing you're going to need is a balloon. And I hear that stretching balloons makes it like easier to blow up. I don't know. I just feel like I'm gonna pop myself in the face or hand every time I do this. I also feel kind of like a birthday party clown. Made in flinch. so funny. I know. You see you blow that. That's what she said. Except for he. What's up, y'all? So I think it's pretty important to have a, where are you? A clear-ish balloon, something you can kind of see through because one of the ways I'm going to try to do this is to put it in there. And I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do that yet. I'm probably just with a syringe, yeah? If I just hold this open, it's not gonna <clears throat> let it happen. I don't know. So I guess the first way we're going to try to do this is on the outside. And when people do it with the chocolate, they just dip it in it. And that would take a lot of resin. So instead of dipping it in it, I'm going to try to kind of paint it on-ish, esque. Mm, okay. And to do that, I have a little foam brush that actually just cleaned out, so it's a little bit damp. I'm going to go with damp. And I'm going to brush it on, mm. in theory. I would love to figure out how to do balloon animals, but that is not my repertoire. Well, you know what's hilarious about that? <laughs> About Actual balloon animals? Statement. I don't know why. I think I got this to put in somebody's mystery box. Mystery box, but <laughs> there you have it. Oh, and it even comes with googly eyes. Mm-hmm. Why well, isn't that? It shows you special. how to make them. You're gonna use quick coat? Yeah, I'm gonna use quick coat. If you I want this balloon to pop? No. But... You guys think it'll pop? Who thinks it'll pop because of the heat? Maybe it will pop. I don't know, Rosie. That's what I'm gonna try to see if this will will work. Um, I'm not gonna Vaseline it. I'm going to just put it on it. 
mainly because balloons are plat well they're not plastic but I feel like I don't see why it would stick and if it does stick then that'll be just another part of the test resin bath of oh it pops God. you are insane Don't know until you try. This is very true. So, we were considering that the heat may pop it the other day um, when we went out and got these balloons. We're looking for the syringes. Yeah. Is that there? <clears throat> Um, I use nitrile gloves because, um, for me, they work better than latex. I'm not I don't think allergic at good. all, but I don't know. Holly, I see that one. Mmm, can already smell it. So, these are... That would have been fun. Yeah, but... You can't. Can you just blow it up and then put resin in the there and It'll then just, just put it, it in out. real quick? But no. would it? Because the, the air is going to want to come out. Okay, so let's put it, the resin in there and then blow it up. I think I it's thick. I don't do that. That I'll, might be a little. I'll do it. Yeah, but how are you going to do that? How are you going to put resin in there? You're just going to squeeze a little bit? It's not like it's. No, I'm going to fill that and put it in there it's be so I don't good. get any on my face. Never saw you guys do a smashed balloon resin painting. Yeah, I never did one of those. Um, maybe a Mylar balloon would work better. I don't know. We're going to find out. This is it going to be a group experiment? You guys are the group. Let's try, let's cut this end off. Here's a this. No. So I'm just going to put a little bit of this into this. Um, we're going to put some color in it and see how it goes. I'm going to use Pink Velvet by Color Obsession. I'm using the transparent. That worked so well. Wow. You being facetious? No. Like, it really worked. Like, Good. Really well. What up, Jen? So... Rosie says, Jeff, I don't have a very good feeling about putting resin in a balloon. Yeah, I don't either. Mm, he's on the same page as you, but I'm a stubborn I, I don't think it'll pop. I think it'll probably melt and then just kind of, I don't know. That doesn't, now I'm really worried. I didn't think about it like exploding. She doesn't. I don't think it'll explode. I think if anything, it's just going to melt the balloon and it's just going to deflate on itself, if anything. Why don't you... Got to work kind of quick because it's quick coat. And this looks like jelly. Oh my gosh, just in case, put these on. Just you in like case. it to look cool. Okay. Just in case it pops. What's up, y'all? What's your name? It's probably good to have protective eyewear in case something crazy does happen. And for me, that comes in these kind of glasses. I've just decided that I'm just going to paint this on in, to begin with instead of pouring it because it was pouring unevenly. 
I just, the thing is, I don't think that you can take that off a balloon. Well, maybe it won't, and we'll all know. We're here to test it. That's what everybody's here for. People are going to just join us and be like, what? hey, I guess you aren't feeling too hot, huh? You're going to think I'm hungover? <laughs> I don't know about that. Definitely not hungover. I'm just, I think life, we just got too busy and I was just running on too many cylinders and had to sleep it off a little bit. It's not murder balloon. That would be fun though. Moon knows. He's like, I'm staying back here. No, he's like, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna be over here. Like, I feel like it's gonna, like, like that kid that put the, uh, he put the glow stick in the microwave and exploded on him. His dad's like, what are you doing? <laughs> Dad got all mad at him. Uh, glow stick all over him. I bet that hurt. Oh my gosh. What's the worst that could happen? It doesn't work. Hey, put this in your that. Put this in your that. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to just let that simmer and do what it's going to do. So far it looks like, where are you? You're right there. Looks like this. I'm just going to scoot this back. Yeah, why don't we put that somewhere where if it does explode and it's... But like, if it explodes, I wanted to do it on camera so people can see it. Oh my it. God, so it gets everywhere. That would be awesome. You're right. This is a very tidy area of the, this. We just don't, we don't care. Maybe I don't care about our safety. I guess. <laughs> Are you really going to stand over there? Yeah, you seem kind of crazy right now. That's why I'm like worried. She's like doing it for the vine. Um, right now I'm trying not to waste resin, so I'm gonna need that balloon you're playing with. And I don't know how you're gonna like. What you're gonna blow this in? You're gonna put. I'm gonna put it in oh. there and then blow it up. Where's the thing? But how are you gonna blow it up? Like. When this comes off, you know, hopefully that doesn't get around it. Well, if it does, then I'll just have to wipe it off, figure it out. B, if it wasn't for pioneers like me, you, just, you seem crazy right now. Then there would be nothing. Pioneers like you. Yes, I'm a pioneer. Now that that's all in there, where are you? Um, over here. I made sure not to let it spill out and around. It's starting to get a little warm. Okay. So now I'm going to roll this down a little bit so that I can make sure that where I'm going to blow it up at doesn't have any resin on it. I'm going to roll this back up. There's oh, going to be so... You're... Just don't inhale it. Please. Yeah, but if that goes in your mouth... We'll go to the ear. Oh, my God. Okay. Nothing got in my mouth. It's all in there. I was very careful. Kids don't do this at home. You guys see that it's in there now so it's basically like I was doing the um what was I doing the ornaments are you on cold mitts I am not you would think she is I'm just gonna roll it around in here 
Yeah, I just wanted to know if I could do it. Now I'll know one way or the other. Do you want to put these somewhere on the side so that we don't have to be fearful of your life? I'm not over there. Okay, but we got to do more on the show. We can't just have a 20 minute show. Now I get to move them. Huh? I'll move it. Just tell me where you want me to put it. Obviously in the dust free zone. Okay. Well, let's take this and this and put it in. Okay, I'll take it. That does look fun, though. This way, if it explodes, it's going to be a glittery explosion. Okay. Going to set these on these. I wish I had one of those rotatey things. Can you guys see through it? All right, you guys, we're gonna put this in the dust-free zone. That way, if there is an explosion, it's contained. Jeff is correct. I need to not be reckless. At least one of them will work. The one that I like poured in the balloon, I don't think that's gonna make it because it doesn't have any breathable anything. I know, Angela. I'm really accidentally good at stressing him out. I don't mean to, but I just get an idea in my head and I have to do it. And, and I understand how that stresses him out. I don't care. I do care. still have to finish out my vision. Oh. Your vision. Mm -hmm. We gotta show them how that piece turned out. Well, I guess they saw yesterday. Put a camera in the dust free zone. It's a little dark in there. We'll see. I think the one that I put it like on the outside, I think that will, um, I don't see that one exploding, but definite distinct possibility the other one will. Oh yeah, I remember what this one is. Let's do a second layer on this. So, I don't know. I'm not sure if it'll pop or not, but we're going to find out together as a family. Fireball shots. I don't even, everyone says time to break out the shots. I don't even think I have any fireball. That diamond that we pulled out of the, the new mold turned out gorgeous. 
P.S. by the way. Everyone's saying cheers to you. I guess you just took a sippy. Oh, yeah. Cheers, everyone. I do and a fireball t-shirt for you y'all are awesome fireball t-shirt y'all I'm gonna get a fireball onesie for Vegas we're planning on doing a meet and greet and like a demo on the second Yeah, Angie, don't do that. Don't go to the store in a snowstorm. Call, um... It's not worth it. Favor. There's a bar app, too, that'll deliver. Right, Vamp? I'm pretty excited about it. A friend of ours um, at OEP said I can have theirs from their onesie party. I don't know what time I'm locking in um, the dates and times for our meet and greet and demo right now, actually. Do you know how fast the Vegas tickets are selling? We talked to Mike today, and he said they're going at a fair rate. Um, we definitely expect them to sell faster the closer that it gets to the day. It's not sold out yet, but I anticipate that it will. You got some awesome rates for those rooms out there. Yeah. Describe the onesie. It's red and has the fireball dragon thing on it. Joe Fish, I just put resin inside and outside of two separate balloons, and we're going to see if they explode or survive. Lisa, I'm fine. I'm just um, watching. He's definitely a safety conscious person, and I'm a very haphazard person, so it kind of makes him nervous when I kind of go off and do my own thing. There have been many occasions where I wish I had listened. And regretted not listening. So huh. he tries to just watch out for those moments for me. Oh, is that uh, individual? That's Tony. Surveillance. He said he needs your address. Yeah, he has some uh, stickers. We're supposed to meet up, but we weren't in town. Oh, he's the one. That yeah. came through. Mm -hmm. Let's do some more transparent so that we can see our that layer. You guys balance each other out. I think so too. Hella artsy. Yeah. Instead of Stella, right? Is that what it was? That pink is so awesome, the flamingo. Yeah, that's nice. I would put some I would put some of that in there. Did you guys know we got our glitter in, but we're wait we're still waiting on one more box. Let's do a onesie party one night, like after the first day. Let's all go like to the casino in onesies. Yep. I gotta get my kiss onesie. I have it. Um, the pre-orders of glitter. What up, Jen? Um, I did get m most of the glitter in. I don't have the pre-orders. I forgot, Jen. I'm going to be honest with you. Mm -mm. It's too much. Um, I definitely forgot to send you that invoice. 
so I'll take care of it. I got glitter for sure. Um, actually, I got contacted today about possibly being a Colorberry distributor, so I sent her a message. So we'll see if that works out. Hopefully. Hopefully it does. Did you get the pre-orders of glitter in yet? Yeah, I just answered that. Um, I did not see a, a skull resin with triangle. I did not see that. I don't, we'll have to, uh, we'll have to check that out. Tony wants to know how you can pour on an uneven board like a surfboard. I don't know. You would have to, you'd have to baby it. You'd have to use quick coat. I would use quick coat for sure. Yeah. Um, I can do resin rings. I can get a mold. Well, Jen, if the super nice Amanda did read that, she should have sent you an invoice. She'll be here today as well. She said 6.30, but I guess she's running behind. How can I get the glitters? Um, Sandy, you can get them on our website, artisttelldeath.com. You can get all of them. Well, I wish you could go to Vegas too. We understand that that's not doable for a lot of people. Um, so we're thinking about putting together a cross US tour. We already have venues in Florida and Arizona that are open for us to use. Oops. No, people would want to go if, like, I have a cousin that, that has properties out there, but um, it's just the getting everybody in the same area. Her properties aren't that big, so they're just like small vacation little, little mm -hmm. parts. Uh, Jacksonville, it'll be literally on Jacksonville Beach. Mm hmm. Annie Murray Sydney Doors, can you send me an email on that? Vegas is April 3rd and 4th. Very ex Colorado. I'll too. check on it, Kathy. Um, um, and then we're possibly doing uh, Phoenix, Arizona. Outside of Phoenix, yeah. Um, but it's going to be hot. Whew. I can ship to Australia, but all of my paints already come from Australia, so it may be more cost efficient and time efficient. Kuja, are you okay? If you just buy from them directly. Virginia. I don't think I've ever been to Virginia. Yes, Patty, they are. Colorado, too. Of course, Julie Hummus. Um, no, 007 did not come in yet. She said end of January, January, so she's got 12 days. Thanks, B, you're the best team player. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I figured that. I've, I've been to Arizona in the summer. And it was hot, and that's what I was thinking. Like, Dallas has this ridiculous heat, like this nasty, like you, you have a heat gun blowing on you at, you know, at midnight. At 6 o'clock in the morning, it's, it's you know, 90, 95 degree weather, like just air blowing. It's terrible. Calm down, Miz. Looks like snow is coming to Alabama. Yeah, I heard that. Um, I'll probably get some of the rose gold too. Everything's worse in Houston. Mm. 
No, we're 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 just kind of putting feelers out to see if we would get um, enough people to fill at least ten to fifteen. If we're gonna travel that far, I mean, at least ten to fifteen people in a class. But we have to secure the the venue before we can even begin to, you know, put something like that together. Yep. Yes, Rusty, we're in Dallas. We live in downtown Dallas. Okay. There's a lot of people in Chicago. Yeah. A lot of people in Chicago. I guess Chicago's one that we need to add. Like, seriously, think about adding. Y'all find us a venue to look at in Chicago. I thought that was the balloon. <laughs> I thought that was the balloon. I get that. Now I just dropped a canvas. Y'all would have seen me running towards our dust-free area if that was the balloon. Five hour drive, I'm still there. Gosh. Hey, lady. He's like, hey, what's up? He did. I walked in and he was like, oh. It's you. <laughs> you can be here. Let's swap those lights out. You got some good lights in there now. I'm going to check them out. Travel around and hit each state as you go, if only. I know. We would, we would, we would have to have, we would have to have dates, like, completely set in, like, venues. And we would probably just have to ship I everything. I would totally ship everything. Because we would have to have so much stuff that, I mean, unless we rented a U-Haul truck or something. We do not have classes set for March just yet. March going to be a difficult one. Yeah, we're, we're not... Thank you, Clara. It is Amanda. Everyone's saying what's up. Hello. So when Max ocean. gets really excited, he gets the hiccups. Huh? When Max gets really excited, he gets the hiccups. We're saying Jen in March. I was like, no. Yeah, we have. What do we got in March? Hi. Um, January, February, March. We have a cruise in March. Mhm. Mm and Jen. Jen and Vamp, Vamp are coming in March. They'll be March there. 20th. They'll be here for my birthday. From what? What what are we looking at? March 20th to what? I see you. Come lay down, Miz. 20 through 24th. Are you switching over? Yeah, but... 
I just don't, I don't understand how I can't see that. I'm trying to get this so it's a little bit blown up. Thank you, Rocky. Just tilting it to get 20, the twenty fourth. That gold shimmer is sinking a little bit. Thanks, Jen. I love how parts of it floats up. Very Mayron esque. Well, I'm glad you're here, Rocky. Just some frothy cells. I like doing second layer pours because it gives a whole new depth. And then once you start tilting, after you let the gold sink a little bit, mm -hmm. it kind of sticks. So you have that gradient of color over the gold. See how it's kind of a little bit green? You can see where it's floating up. The light catches that gold. 23rd of February, Julie. That's already in the calendar. Count this. studio that wasn't it that's that's somewhere around here though all right tiffany just bought her ticket to the summit everybody or something jeff <laughs> i didn't plan on doing a pour Everything was surviving over there. I think it'd be way too sticky for it to even be. Yeah. Put some heat on it. That won't pop the balloon at all. Wow! <laughs> Jen, I'm a... Uh... I am hungry. <laughs> Jeff is pouring a beer. I tried to feed him and it didn't work. I tried to cook something Jeff, new question. and it was I not I have fun. mixed media project on canvas. The canvas which has already been Angie, you could you could try to to uh, spray warm water on the back of the canvas um, and or you could get some Mod Podge, put a little water in it and and just do the entire, the entire back of it. Um, and that should stiffen it up a little bit but I'd, I would have to see it. I'd, I'd have to almost feel it just to just to tell it, it sounds like it might be a like a low quality canvas so you never know those things when they get bad it just kind of gets worse i missed it what are you guys doing with the blue i am trying to make a bowl out of resin and a balloon so ultimately what i'm going to do is let this stiffen up and then i'm going to pop it 
Mm-hmm. That's what she I said. Kind of, <laughs> technically, you could have got me again to just there, but I thought it first. Tressa, you. Tressa? Teresa? Not Teresa. Teresa, um, you don't want to do that because you'll. The, the resin will settle and you'll be able to see where it's settled at. We've tried that. Is that Sulu yeah. creation? Um, the different needle sizes, it depends on what, what it, did you get an eclipse? I want an eclipse. Um, there's a really fine tip and the needle. Um, and you could look at the, like when you take the, uh, the tip of the airbrush off, you can see that it looks like a two part cone um, and I believe that's the two tip um, they just made that like I don't know five or six it could have been longer ago but like they just started making that because um, they the eclipse came out with just one needle um, and it's just a little cone and the needle is I mean that's perfect for doing portraits but the number two needle I believe that's what it is is very fine, very, very fragile. You, you can try that, Angie. You never know. Dolores, we're using uh, uh, Quick Coat by Stone Coat. Mm hmm. Um, the fire sale coasters and everything will go out. Some of them have already gone out, the rest of them will go out tomorrow. Jeff helped me f finish up all the backs of them. Bookbinding glue. You never know, that might work. Thanks for tuning in, JJ. Oh, Amanda, your coasters turned out awesome. Yeah? Yeah. I call this one Red Wheelbarrow. Kathy says, can you show me the size of a large mystery box? Um, the sizes vary. It's about the, the, um, monetary value of everything that goes inside. The content. Of it. So the boxes vary in size, but the content is what's. Did, uh, did the person ask him about the airbrush ever? Yeah, it's number two. Sulu, um, and it's funny, I, I always get stuff backwards, especially when it's just two of them, especially with these needles. Um, if you got the gravity feed, you most likely got uh, the very fine tip. That's, that's not a good airbrush to practice with because it's so touchy. Um, and that's mainly for re really technical stuff and portrait work and detailed. Um, I believe the the diameter for the uh, the normal needle um, is like three point something. Like that's a that's like the perfect size. Yeah. 
you you might you might want to get the smaller needle and the smaller cone. Let's see if I. I wish I had put this gold on after doing the glitter. It's kind of getting lost now. I guess I'm going to have to put gloves on. I was like, what is that? Alright, so this is, if you can see this, I don't know if you're going to be able to see this. Let me see if I can put this on some, excuse me. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that. Let me switch cameras. Like that is what the cone looks like on a normal, let's see, on a normal airbrush. I, I wanna say the, the one needle. Um, there's no, almost, it almost looks like a, like you could, you actually can take that little, uh, the very tip of the cone off on the number, the number two needle. Um, but this is this is a great needle cone to work with to just practice with. It's still touchy, but um, you don't have to work as hard. It's not as like you can you can use um, a f not so fine airbrush paint. Like you can use golden without any problems. What gold was that? Uh, bright gold by Just Resin. Larry, it, I mean, it, I practiced every single, like, I can remember just wanting to come home from school. I, I first started teaching myself in high school, my senior year, um, because my art teacher had no idea how to use it. He, he, he kind of did, I think, but all his equipment was trash because kids didn't clean out the airbrushes. Um, so I just taught myself, <laughs> just trial and error, just taught myself. Um, and uh, I, I want to say it, it probably took me to get to the point where I was confident enough to sell my artwork I would say probably two years maybe um, I used to sell it for like a hundred dollars for like a 30 by 40 <laughs> I used to just copy Olivia's stuff, but then I would put my own twist to it, my own background, my own like tattoos and stuff. Um, and then I, I went to a seminar in Florida, my, no, in California, my first, very first airbrush getaway seminar. Um, no, that was here. Oh my God, that was here where I met this guy named Noah. He's a genius airbrush artist here. I think he works for Disney now. Um, and he was using transparent colors and I was like, why would you use transparent colors? You can't see them. <laughs> so um, I started doing my portraits with transparent color and the very first portrait I did, the very first time came out like how I've been wanting to do it like it was it blew my mind like it was 
And I never looked back after that, using transparent colors for portraits. Mm -hmm. Thank you guys. Resin is UV protective, but sometimes a resin will make, if you're talking about alcohol inks, then it'll make the inks bleed a little bit. And anytime you can add an extra bit of protectant the better when it comes to alcohol inks. Hi, little boy. Hi, little boy. You want to hear me? Yeah, I've, I've got to do, I've got to do a couple portraits probably coming up this week. Um, and I will definitely, yeah, I'll do a, I'll do, I'll do some airbrush work. Um, that's not a problem. I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to set a date so you guys can know can when and tune in. Is it Amanda? You see her? What's her doing? Um, we'll do one. I just, the, the thing with, with airbrushing, what you need to do, don't, don't try to, don't try to be good. You're not going to be good. <laughs> You, 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 you might get stuff down, you might, you know, you might get comfortable with certain things, um, but always try to go out of, go out of your comfort zone. Um, and what I suggest is just get some golden black and a hundred rolls of, uh, what do you call it? Paper towels. Um, cause I painted on everything in my mother's house. Like pillow sh like for some reason I thought I had to use cloth you know like because I wanted to paint on t-shirts um, but all you have to do get like um, just get paper towels have them make make something where it just rolls down and just practice practice doing dots practice doing lines practice doing you know horizontal vertical small lines to big lines and the one thing you have to have to have to do is constantly keep the air on while you're airbrushing do not turn the air off while you're painting you always want to be able to when you move that finger it's paint's going to come out so you always press down always have air on unless you have a single action airbrush and then i, I can't help you there <laughs> mm. And a single action airbrush means it's like a spray paint can. You push down and the paint's going to come out. A normal um, airbrush is dual action, which means you push it down and that's just the air. And then you pull back. That's the paint. Yep. No, oh, thank you, Kim. <sighs> Hi, Sharon. Yeah, I mean it's it's that's what you'll use It's black and that's it don't if you want to try to use color that's up to you but practicing just use black yeah she airbrushed for the first time and she actually did really good i have it somewhere she she painted eeyore and um why do i think that i'm over here um I don't know where that's at. It's got to be in one of my books because I kept it. I don't know. I'll have to look for it. Yeah, but Kathy, that's, that's the first thing you learn is dots and lines. And then... You just practice your, um, the loops, the loops are, are what really get people is when you, when you do loops and you have to touch the ends or the sides of the loops. And then when you come back the other way, you want to do just the left side and then you come back down and you do the right side. Then you do just the bottom and then you do just the top. And that's, that's where it gets really difficult. But if you can do that, you're, you're going to be good. 
Who's my favorite street artist? Um, ah, there's a couple. I watch a couple on YouTube. I love Kipto. Um, Julie, thank you very much. Um, I love Kipto. Doke is good. I, I watch Doke. He's he's super entertaining. Um, Kipto has those skills, man. That those color skills and the editing skills and like gosh. Um, of course, I love Banksy. He's he's just a damn genius. Um, <clears throat> um, no, I have him somewhere. Um, there's a couple like old school. Um, God, who do I watch? I watch a lot. Half the time I don't even like. I just see a video from him and just push it. Um, Ten hundred, Clara. I watch him. I I reached out to him. Because he's super personal, like, he's super, like, uh, I watched a couple of his videos, and, and he just started uh, posting pretty much all the time. He, he used to not do that. And he definitely talks back to people and stuff and whatnot. Um, I think he actually did like a comment of mine, but I'm sure that they get a lot of people asking, hey, come do this and come do that. Um, I asked Kipto to do it, because Kipto goes everywhere. Um, I asked him to come and do some resin and a, a mural because we have space down here to do a mural over at Art Co. <laughs> Dolores, it's fun. It's it's super frustrating. I mean, I I can still remember like it was yesterday. Airbrushing and it and it like you do something one day and then the next day you try to do it and the airbrush does not want to cooperate. Oh my gosh, it's like, it was the most frustrating thing and I, I had to do it, you know? Your brain just wasn't communicating with your hand. Yeah, Kipto has amazing colors. Um, Frost, it's Kipto, K-I-P... T O E Kipto I'm sure if you type that in it'll come up but I'm I'm pretty sure there's an E on the end. I can see it just how he spells his name. Yeah, Larry, he's he's doing uh What did he do? The, I think obviously the last thing he did was that stunt where it disintegrated itself, started to chew up it. Uh now I do. You know it's funny artist for life like I I started saying that probably 20 I don't know years ago. Um, I wanted to make shirts for it, but I didn't do the four. Um, and then I started a little company with a couple friends, uh, Por Vida, which means for life, uh, artist Por Vida. And uh, that was cool, but it kind of did not work out. <laughs> so now I have... Uh, we started uh, Artists Till Death as well. That got taken away from me. Then some uh, situations happened and I got it back. Well, you, it helps being a, you know, a good drawer with, uh, with airbrush, but it's not necessary. I mean, I, I think that you have your own style, your own way, you can make it work. She's uh, over talking with Amanda, doing work stuff.
Yeah, you can do all kinds of stuff with airbrush. Um, it's funny because it's easier for me to draw with an airbrush than it is for me to draw with a pencil. Like, I can draw with spray paint. Like, I can see it easier with spray paint than I can with a pencil. Uh, trace a color, quick coat, uh, we'll set up in... Two hours. I mean, it'll start setting up in 15 minutes. Like, it's useless in 15 minutes, but as far as setting up completely dry, two hours. I've never done a resin bowl using another method other than do be people. like... <laughs> putting it out and then letting it set up a little bit and putting that over some other... Con when is Amanda's B-Day? End of March. Oh man, Sulu, I, I love giving info on airbrush. Um, like I said, I taught myself, um, um, and that was back in the day, that was 88, 89. Um, I first saw it in Florida, went to Florida with um, my friend Shannon, and uh, he and I were at a at the beach and saw some guy painting on a t-shirt and I'm like oh my god that's that's what I want to do because I love to do lettering love to doodle and whatnot and I was drawing on people's clothes all the time there's a mm -hmm. um, so yeah airbrush whew, I wanted to do it like that was my thing like I didn't I didn't want to go to college I had no plans to do anything but be an artist. <laughs> and talk about all of that. Yeah, Kathy. Um, the compressor is important. I mean, if it's loud, um, try to find a place like in your closet. Um, you could put you could put a put blankets up on the wall. Put a fan in there so it doesn't overheat. Or you can make a box. I mean, that's that's kind of tricky. Um, or put it outside, just, just, just run a large hose. Um, but it definitely will have to be a much larger compressor because you're going to have a, a constant air. So that, that'll be, that air compressor will be on all the time. Yeah, you can airbrush on a resin pour. You just have to sand it. Um, you just have to give it a good sanding and depending on what color you wanted, you'd have to do white. I have a problem with painting white though. It's like painting backwards. Um, what's his name? Townsend, amazing airbrush artist out of Oklahoma. Ryan, forget about it. He can do it. He can, uh, he can, use, he can paint white first and then all that fun stuff. Um, and my boy Jace from Go Fast. No. Is it Go Fast Garage? No. Oh my gosh. He lives literally right up the street from me. Amazing airbrush artist. He has his own podcast now. Um, Jace Hudson is his name. Amazing airbrush artist. I feel so bad not knowing what his. It's something fast. Hold fast? That sounds right. Oh my gosh, I feel so bad. He's gonna punch me in the throat. Um, no, but that was the first person I met. Jace was the first person I met. And I, I didn't really met him. Huh? I put you on Lucy. I don't understand what you're saying. I put you on Lucy. Oh. Lucy looks terrible. <laughs> um. Basically, Vamp, I was like, hmm, have some these. <laughs> That's cute. Um, the first person I met that had my airbrush work tattooed on him, and he only saw me at Walmart. <laughs> That's a funny story. He was, like, looking at me, and I was like, why does this guy keep staring at me? Like, I had no idea. And then I get home, and I have a, a message from him on Facebook. 
saying, were you just at Walmart? That was me looking at you, blah, blah, blah. Like, <laughs> what he did is he asked me if he could use one of my tattoos to put on a car hood. And I was like, hell yeah, dude. Like, of course. I don't mind. That's like a flattery. Like, that's amazing. That's what I used to do with Olivia and Soriyama and uh, all those guys back in the day. Geiger? 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 I don't know how you guys say it. Um, Walmart connection, right? But he has two of my paintings tattooed on him, which is... That's amazing to me. Um... What do you guys want me to do? I don't even know. But yeah, it's just airbrushing, man. It's just a practice, practice, practice thing. It's a lot easier for you guys to learn these days because you can just, just Google. Just Google how to start airbrushing. What are the techniques? What are some of the do's and don'ts? And people have videos out there. What should we do? What should we do? Should we just do like design work? Bye, Clara. You know, Vamp, um, there was a girl on Instagram. She commented on a piece. No, on the logo. Oh, no. She commented on the temporary tattoos we have on our site. She goes, I will totally get that tattooed. And I said, I will give you a kit. If you film it, I want, it, I want, you, I want you to film everything i want you doing the stencil i want you doing everything and you film that and send that to me and let me put it on youtube i will give you a, a kit and she said well it's easy because she's a tattoo artist it'll be easy for her <laughs> i said well let's do it i want to see it um and i went to her her youtube not her youtube her uh, instagram page and she makes dolls so that was her, just for her page for her dolls. She makes like these cool little knitted dolls. Um, I wish I could remember her name. I could probably just look it up real quick. But she said she's gonna do it. I can't wait. Um, I can't wait to see it. That's a hell of a deal, Sue. No, I can't be a drummer. <laughs> what do I want to draw? Now, I want to get the logo. I'm... I'm, uh... I'm down to get the logo. I don't know what to do. I don't know if I want to do, like... Just like my normal stuff, or do I do some pinstriping fun stuff? Let's just try to do something like that. And that's one thing I do in airbrush too. Um, if you see me doing lettering, or something that's, you know, very, very tight, very um, precise. You'll see me draw it out first, like ghost draw it out, and then I'll put my hand, and that's that's how you airbrush. That's you keep a steady hand. Normally, if you're doing lines or you're doing some lettering, it keeps it keeps it steady. And say so you're just sitting there, like, because your arm will sometimes just kind of go crazy <laughs> um vamp and jen are gonna get the atd, ATD what? you guys get it i'll get it um i would love to maybe try to set it up with oliver peck um he's a friend of mine over there at uh, elm street tattoo 
I'm sure he'd be down to do it. We'd obviously have to pay him, but um, hopefully he'll be in town at his shop when you guys are here. I have to go check it out, see when he's in town. Let's see here. Let's just try to do some... See, I mess around and I'm sitting here without this lid on and I'm gonna dry up this, this pen. Gotta respect the tip, B. Can't neglect it. Mm -hmm. You said mess around and all I heard was that song where Ted is like jamming and driving. The mess around? No. Oh, yeah. I know. I'm going to take him out real quick. This is really slippery, too. Oof. And I'm going to get hit with it. Ooh, people talking about getting that ATD tattoo. love to be able to have my arm out here you can see it got a little squirrely a little squiggly you can see how Is that upside down? It is upside down. thing is super slippery to draw on. It's hard to kind of see all this, but 
This is black paper, isn't it? We can use this. Sorry if that's loud, y'all. Um, so what are y'all doing up? What are y'all doing on Friday night? I'm gonna have to go get me some food here in a little bit. Food! Let's see here. Let's try to draw something upside down. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing here. We went from balloons to lines. <laughs> starting to give out on me. Terrible. I felt like a <laughs> felt like I was doing some first time flame over here. Let's try to do a flame. It's fun. Sorry if I'm covering this up. Well, this is what I like to do, like if I'm just like bored. <laughs> Like if I, I just don't, I don't feel like getting resin out. I don't feel like airbrushing. I don't feel like painting. Like this is what gets you feeling like an artist again. That that's, it makes me feel like, you know, back when I just did it just to do it, you know? Like this is what I drew a lot of. Like my, my dad, my stepdad. 
did, always did, uh, hold on. Did this stuff like this. Just resin in the house. What's up? We're just doing a little dueling right now. <laughs> and then, we did, uh, we poured on a balloon earlier and it didn't come out how she uh, thought it would be. <laughs> Everybody just resins in the house. Y'all should say hi. Because they're amazing. I'm good. I'm good. Um, Erica went to go um, walk Cujo, and then we're going to go get some food. We tried to make some Blue Apron, and their recipes are, they're good sometimes, but other, other, other times they're just not. Doodle my name and send it to me. <laughs> what? What do you mean to doodle? Susan. 
Yeah, I'm about done here. I know people are like, why is it keep drawing? <laughs> this is just fun to me. This is like, this is the least amount of work an artist can do is just to doodle. There's no pressure. There's no, you're not doing it for money. You're not doing it for anything. These are the markers that uh, Just Resin sent us. Look how opaque these guys are, you guys. here I believe they carry them don't you guys carry these just resin See if I can do this upside down. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna do this right. We'll see. Spell that. What am I doing? I'm doing a U. <laughs> Hold on. Erase that. Spell it right. Yeah, I know. Just read. I. <laughs> I've never tried to do calligraphy upside down. <laughs> this will be a first. <laughs> Yeah, they aren't these, this is just, it's super opaque. These are such, just resin. Did you say that you guys have these? Those. Yeah. Jeff, you've been arts upside down. Ridiculous.
Did it work? Mm -hmm. Did I did mm -hmm. I do it right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> Spelled it right in everything. You guys are cute. I'm about to go. I've got to go get some food. You're welcome. It's just, it's fun to me. Um, I'll get the airbrush out sometime this week. Um, Heather said, okay, no left-handed. I can always tell when something is a piece done by Jeff because it'll have his little frilly do's. Frilly do's. Pretty sure that's a technical term. Everybody loved this so much. Aaron says she could write it upside down and backwards. I can't Left. Do either. I don't know. I've never. <laughs> You're out of camera. <laughs> yeah, they can see it. Let's see here. <laughs> you wrote that so much better than I could have. Hey, Laura. Look how good, like, these even go over each other. Like, it has a little bit of the green on there. I wonder if you can... You may have to lick your finger first. Babe. <laughs> Jen says you're ambidextrous. Right, uh -huh. Heather? Angie, I've resined over you, Poe. Like, look at that. You can draw all over that. Yeah, just, just resin does um, carry these markers now. And I think Ranger inks. Night, Happy. Absolutely, Laura. I'm glad you made it. He has, ta he has done a tattoo before, but he is... Not about it. Doodle on the vinyl. Just resin has a lot of colors. Um, Angie, I never had a problem with it not sticking. And I'm not sure how to work around that. Uh, I started doing <laughs> airbrush t-shirts. <clears throat> We have a lot of, a lot of fonts. I could get tattooed with us. Um, Y'all don't want to see me ugly cry. I'm not, I'm, I'm horrible at, I did not see it, Jen. I'm horrible at um, anything remotely painful. No one can ever read that writing. I know. <clears throat> All right. Enough of that. Good shenanigans, be Good shenan. Shenanigans. You might have to say the bye so that Kujo doesn't get all like, what? Ooh. You may want to go back. The other ones, just resin. Um, they're in the other room. I I was I used them on uh, Amanda Panda's skateboard. Mm -hmm. Um, those came from in there. Yeah, I know. Oh. But there's other colors too. Yeah. Um, 
Just resin, we are down to try out your acrylic. Look in a minute. We'll do it this weekend. They just sent testers of their new stuff. Oh, awesome. Mm -hmm. Well, thanks, Holly. I think if I, if I do that again, I, I'll probably post about it and just say, no resin, no nothing. We'll just do some doodle or airbrush or she'll break out the stones uh, to show everybody how she stones the lips and stuff like that. Not yet, just resin. Still in transit, the last box. Did he just write over that? <laughs> you didn't do that on purpose, did you? On I purpose? did. Lies. Because it was over the green, and I said you can write over that. And I wrote over that. Clever. Um, absolutely, Diane. I haven't really been on my phone much today, but I will. I saw that you text me. Um, the lips are a joint venture. What are you doing, crazy? They are. All right, you guys. We got to go get some dinner and some stuff. We jointly do the lips. It is. One reason why I got out of my grown-up job. Yeah. All right. Thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for everything you guys do for us. All of it. Every single bit of it. We appreciate it. Thanks for hanging out when we're just doodling. Sometimes you Friday have to night. Doodle bug. What are you going to do? Um, we'll probably go early tomorrow as well. Um, we have a event with my good friend JD. Um, we're going to go go-kart racing and I'm going to whoop her booty. So, thanks for hanging out and always, you know, be kind to one another. You never know what people are going through. It's true. Also, you have to be sweet next time you see Jeff on Sunday because I'm going to beat his booty oh, on the track. I'll film it if I can. Pretty you should sure just can. strap a GoPro. Grow Pro. Yeah, Grow Pro. You have the Grow Pro stuff. Well, thanks, Laura Taylor. They're just going to be here to console Let you. Let me sell you a dirt bike. Oh, no. These are little go-karts. Thanks, Larry. Thank you for saying that. Okay. Creeper. I know. <clears throat> Anyways, you guys, thanks for tuning in. Seeing Warp 2. We will see y'all tomorrow we'll probably be early as jeff said but afternoon we'll, sometime something like that we'll post in the group to let you guys know yeah we'll give you at least you know 10 minute heads up not really it'll be better um hi kareen from grants pass hey what's up we want to come back up there soon anyways Thanks for tuning in, you guys. If you didn't watch the whole thing, watch the whole thing. And um, the balloon should have busted. If it did. Like, if it... I'm going to grab it before we say bye. <sighs> I just want to see. She's cute. Bye. What did Just Resin say? Tracy, creative has something coming your way. Oh, nice. So, Sharon, her order that. Where is that? I don't know where that She's diamond is. Did you search her? <clears throat> It's like leaking through somehow a little bit. Like it's all sticky out here. What? Like all that's sticky. Like how? I don't know. I, I didn't even. Nothing was on that when I took that over there. Like how would that even get on there? I had to have touched it because I didn't put gold in this one.
but oh my gosh that's like a rock and it's cold mm -hmm. it's Stop already it. set up then but this side's still i don't know okay i'm scared ready no okay go You may have just popped my... <laughs> That's an ugly little mushroom. You're an ugly little mushroom. This is my art. This is your art. Mm. This is Bohemian over here. Don't judge me. Paints with no shoes on. It feels like... What's that stuff? Um... A fruit by the foot. That's what it feels like. A fruit by the foot. Yeah. P.S. I don't think this is set up all the way. Boom! Oh my God! You're so fast. <laughs> See? You got moving! <laughs> Cujo. Cujo. Yeah, but Holly, our <laughs> studio is very dangerous. We have very heavy boards. We have we have no. um, airbrush needles and and sticks and exacto blades everywhere. I was gonna agree with you till I realized what you were talking about. Okay, for the record, it doesn't really stick to it. Like, it doesn't come off in one piece, obviously, but I can peel it off. Good <laughs> job. No, it's because it's, it sounded like a knock at the door, I think. Maybe he th thought somebody was here. Or he was just yelling at you. Jen, I... You're scaring me. I always scare her. I think I I'm pretty sure I used to scare my sure mom all the time when I was younger. She hated favorite that. Favorite activity. Okay, so... I'm gonna do this experiment again because I wanna let it set up all the way. And the other one is gonna set up all the way. I already can feel it. But this is, where are you? You're over here. This is a raw chunk of resin. It just came out. But it's still like squishy right here. So it should've, I should've let it squishy. set up a little longer. Anyways. <sighs> all right. That's it. Put the logo up. Let's get out of here. Let's go eat some things. Thank you, guys. See y'all tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Bye. I said bye.